All right, so I've swapped in the meeting here. I had in the interim, I had swapped this hose from this old one onto this new one. So you see where the old one did not have any check valve. This new one has the revised check valve in it. So these two have been swapped over. So to just put the put the heat shield on, put heat shield on, then do the final bolt bolt up and we should be good to go official Volkswagen Audi Skoda part mm -hmm. uh. it's very important that I actually mention the revised part number for this gasket. This was the latest revision 06F145757F. So this is a revision F gasket. And as you can see, just wanted to see. So this this gasket here, this gasket here replaces this one. This gasket is crushed as you can see. This one is uncrushed, brand new in plastic and ha still has the three little metal tabs to hold the screws which would aid in insulation so this is what the finished well uh, I don't want to use the word finished but the assembled part would look like when you when you drop it in so you have so what we're gonna do it's a very simple process you see these two those two bolt holes so in, in the center of the footage you will find that hole where you see some oil coming through and you see those two bolt holes, left and right. These two bolts will simply um, go through it. So this is a one-time use crush gasket, which as you can see, you can see the top, you see the part number on the heat shield. This appears to be 06F129686. The revision number does not make sense, um, does not matter. There's no revision number on this. As you can see, manufactured in the fourth month of the year 2007. This is a 2008 vehicle, so. All right, so this is how it's gonna go in. It's gonna be bolted up. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this off, um, off camera because I definitely need two hands to do it. And it would be a bit cumbersome if I could get somebody to, I don't have a tripod and it'd be tr kind of tricky to get someone to hold the camera exactly um exactly where it can see it. so this new revision check valve blah 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 all of that stuff this installs in just a matter of moments it's going to be this is where a whole lot of customs going to happen on a sat on a sunday because it getting to this one where my pinky finger is touching is easy but getting to this one all right finger Pinky fingers going great, wiggling on. That one's going to be tricky on the basis on where it's located. You have this heat shield here. This heat shield with the uh, Germany spelt backwards because stamped on the other side. Yeah, this heat shield gets in the way of where your hand wants to go to access that bolt. So it's going to be tricky to put it back um, together. It's not going to go. It's not going to go as easily as I had originally um, hoped. But we're going to just make it happen. <clears throat> sorry, just checking to sorry, just checking to see entry of the backlights on. All right, so this is the complete, complete, completed um, part of the process. The this is the new rear PCV for the Mark V Golf GTI Autobahn Edition. The same as same as any um, Mark V Golf GTI, and even for the Mark VI too. Well, the Mark 6, I think, they have a slightly different rear PCV setup, but one about that in, a, in another episode somewhere. I. So, first of all, I want it to be clear that I do have the official clamps, these Volkswagen specific clamps. One clamp. 
and another club. The problem though is that they require a specific type of a specific pair of pliers. It's kind of like a snip that squeezes this side where my thumb is and this other side together and as such it would look something like this when it's done. Yeah, it would be like, kind of like this when it's done but unfortunately I don't have that particular tool on me and I was trying to use the cutting the, these, this dull portion of the of the cutter but that of my wire snipper but that just has not worked out for me to say what the heck any redneck um, would just use a, um, two hose clamps and that's exactly what I did so hose clamp here hose clamp here so just get rid of um, of that not use back the Volkswagen fastener and this would be the completed installation well this hose I just simply connect back here when it's done and yeah I am finished finito done alright 